Hello, Carson Olinger, Capital City Equity Group. Today is the 19th of April. We are out in front of our Tequila property here on Brooksong, getting ready to go on the market, hopefully this weekend. Today's Monday, the 19th, 2021. We bought the property on February 1st. We're a couple of weeks behind. We had some issues with the granite getting cut incorrectly, but it's gonna be all good. So I'll take you inside now that we're almost done. Granite's in, backsplashes are in, tile's in. It's a little dirty inside, but we're doing all the little fine detail finish work and we're hoping to have pictures done by Wednesday or Thursday and be on the market. So I'll take you in. Once again, this is on Brooksong Way in Decula. We've got a five bedroom, three and a half bath with master on the main, a full basement and the bedroom in the basement actually is really cool. It's a $45,000 soundproof recording studio with two separate rooms. So I'll take you inside. We got exterior paint. Yeah, I'll tell you what we did outside first. So we trimmed up the, the hedges here, brought this back. We brought in some pine straw, put it, fixed the garage door, replaced a couple of windows, did an entire exterior paint. The roof is only 10 years old, so we didn't need to touch it. We re got the HOA approval on the color, redid the, the uh, fence color, took out some of these big giant holly trees because they were just encumbering the, the front elevation, um, painted up the whole side of the house. Coming back over here, I'll take you around the side. We put in two new HVAC systems. That ran us about 10 grand uh, to do that. We trimmed up this hedge line over here to, uh, just to make it look a little bit better. So everything's looking good. Uh, here's the HVAC systems here. So these are brand new units inside and out. Uh, the air handlers and the, uh, the EC units. We redid a lot of the deck work because a lot of the wood was rotten. The top boards that is. Uh, put some pine straw and got a good size backyard here. So I'll give you an idea of what it looks like from the back. Keep the sun out of our eyes. As I said, we got the basement down here, walk out. You got a master up top and uh, we'll take you inside here in just a second. Master is on the main. So I'll flip back around while I'm walking. Had a lot of fun on the design with this. So we picked out some uh, really nice upgraded tile um, in the bathrooms. And we did some new flooring down in throughout the main house with new carpet and what have you. New appliance package is in. As I said, there's still some work going on. Got a black exterior door, new handles throughout. So as we come in, we fixed up the inside, leveled out the floor where we needed to. We went with an agreeable gray and a Dorian gray accent. Here's the dining room and the flooring. Going into the kitchen, the granite is in, the backsplash is in. We went with uh, stainless steel and we also went, this is a, a little touch we're starting to do now, we did stainless steel covers so everything kind of gets matchy-matchy. We got a glass uh, backsplash and we painted the cabinets. These were really dark. Refrigerator will be going in later. Microwave but with an LED light in here and as I said, new sink, granite. Let's see if we put in, yep, got a new garbage disposal in there, new plumbing. So like I said, some cleanup work. Here's the living room here. New paint, new flooring throughout. Going back out to the front door here. We've got a half bath right here off the hallway. Granite. New light package. And we picked up the Dorian Gray accent on the uh, fireplace. Got a new fan in here on the vault ceiling. And going out to the deck, give you a better idea. Put a new back door on this as well. All new top boards out here. Great view, nice private backyard. You can see a little bit of the neighbors next door, but everybody's looking nice. They keep up the yards pretty well. Okay, new exterior light package as well. And you got a catwalk upstairs going up to three bedrooms upstairs. So you got a bedroom up here, bedroom over there, a bedroom over here, and then the hallway bath 
and the steps. As I mentioned, this is master on the main. Going back to the front of the house, we've got a laundry room here. We're going out to the two car garage attached. We'll take you back into the master. Big carpet down in here. Got a giant walk-in cabinet, or cabinet, walk-in closet, I should say. And then the shower door here is gonna be going on in just a little bit. We just finished out the tile the other day. We've got black granite in here that was already existing, so we were able to use that. So in doing so, we wanted to pick up some of the gray elements on the floor. So we went with a, um, a marble backsplash, or not a backsplash, but a marble tile, and then carried that through into the shower. So the shower is here. We've got the inset, and we've got a nice feature in the middle as well. So the black will catch up. Here's our curb. Our curb is what's going to support our door. And then we went with the same pure color on the Schluter to match up the, uh, the shower as well. So as you step back and you look in here, this is what our bathroom is going to look like from the carpet transition onto the LVP. Okay. New lights as well. Take you upstairs, coming out of the master into the main living area, kitchen. Here. And then we got new lights up top, new carpet all the way up top, and you can look down onto the main floor here. I'll take you into one of the bedrooms to the right side of the house. Basic bedroom, but there's a lot of storage. You've not only got a closet here, and you know, we put in a light um, fan as well. There's your hallway, but you've also got storage. This is raw storage over top of the, uh, the kitchen area. So you want to keep Christmas stuff in here, what have you. A pantry here, not pantry, but a linen closet. Okay. And then we've got a hallway bath up here that's shared by these three bedrooms. So we gutted this whole place out. Everything in here is new. Put a new tile in here. We created a bench seat here with the tile, and then the soap dispensers are kind of, the soap holders are kind of hidden over on the side there. But um, new tub, new toilet, new flooring, new vanity, granite, mirror, and lighting. Pretty much everything is new in here. Went back to our over the garage bonus room. Very, very, very large room. Um, it, before it did not have a closet. So we put this closet in over here and it marries this kind of feature over here. So we've got a mirror image on both sides, creating our closet now we have official bedroom. So we can call this a five, three and a half. This goes to the uh, storage area over the master bedroom. It's pretty straightforward and simple. It's just, you know, our HVAC system, which is new in here, it's more storage. And then another bedroom here, which is pretty straightforward. Okay, and I'll take you back downstairs. So I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, there was a lot of trash out in it. There's a lot of uh, stuff that we had to do a little bit to the floor here. When the house was built, it didn't have a support beam in it, so we went and put one in. But new carpet down here in the basement. Carries that all the way throughout. We got a, uh, our third full bathroom down here. Um, new flooring, new commode. Um, the bathtub we kept, but we put in a new vanity with new granite. And because we're down below grade, there's a sump pump room here to get all the, the liquids up. But this is basically the uh, downstairs, the basement. Large entertainment space here. New lights going in. We redid the ceilings as we access those. You got more storage here. You got a closet right there. And then over here, you got an additional area for potentially an office. And then through that door is our soundproof room that I had mentioned. Uh, we didn't do too much here because we wanted to keep the integrity of it. We're just going to change the lighting. So we need to actually add some different lights in here. But it's a darker room. And if I close the door, you'll probably hear the acoustic difference in this room. So if you're a YouTuber, if you're someone that does blogging or anything like that here, you're going to have a soundproof room to do that in. Um, they used to have bands in this room, and this room here is where they had all of the uh, musical instruments. So the drums and everything were in here. They had all the wiring brought in throughout 
the entire room. So you had audio and um, video coming in throughout everybody. So all you do is plug in and everything gets brought over to the other room over here where they had the soundboard. And so the soundboard would sit in here and everything would hook up into to these here. So this place is completely wired. So for someone that works from home or wants to have a recording studio or a YouTube studio or voiceover work, it's all there. And he steps out to the backyard. Cue the birds. Very good. Then we'll go back here to the, uh, what is this? The, I don't know what you call this room. Anyway, uh, utility room, thank you. So we just painted this up just to clean it up a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. We got a new water heater and the other HVAC system. And you'll see all these silencers in here. These are baffle silencers. So all the air that goes into the soundproof room on the other side, none of the sound gets carried through the system. So it's pretty cool. Um, so that's basically the house. Um, we're gonna be listing this thing here shortly. So stay tuned for the sale price for this property. Once again, this is Carson Olinger. I'm with Capital City Equity Group. If you're interested in this property, reach out to our agent, which is Christine. She's at Virtual Properties and her number's on the sign out front. Um, follow my YouTube page here, subscribe, and you'll see more of this how-to stuff that we do. We put in about $60,000 into this property. I'll give you all the numbers on it later, but we did a lot of cosmetics and some structural work on the home too. No permits were needed because we didn't actually need them. We were able to work within the, uh, the city budget or the city uh, parameters. So we were good to go and we were pretty nimble. Um, February 1st, it took us about a week to 10 days to trash this house out because it was a mess. And then we got started on it. And uh, like I said, we lost about 10 days because the granite got cut incorrectly. So that kind of held everything up. But um, if you need to reach me, my number is 678-478-2230. I'm Carson Olinger with Capital City Equity Group. Another great flip here. I'm going to try and do a walk the flip maybe later this week or early next week where you can kind of come back and see what we actually did from start to finish. But check out our web pages. You can go to capcityeg.com. And if you want to be on our, our um, wholesale buyers list, we sell properties all the time. Follow me on Facebook at Carson Olinger or at Capital City Equity Group and subscribe to our YouTube page. I also coach. If you're interested in coaching, go to the REI USA page and you can subscribe and pay for the service there for all kinds of coaching. And we walk through rehabs just like this all the time, not only mine, but others as well. And we can teach you how to do what we do here. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Take care. Talk to you soon.